welcome to Dow's Weekly Digest, Season 3. I hope that the time that we spend together becomes a habit for you. We go together. Well, we go together like campfire and s'mores. Our theme for today is mentoring, and I firmly believe that both sides of mentoring puts heavy value on connecting with people who have more or less experience than they do, and both sides have the importance of listening and asking. Do you know that here at Financial Markets we have over 100 years of experience? Mentoring. Let's first set the stage for mentoring. Let's look at what I would call oh, good old rock and chair wisdom. Here's one. All things being equal, people will do business with and refer business to those people that they know, they like, and they trust. So here's a little feel-good question to ask your potential client. How did you get your start in the business that you're in? Pretty simple. And then, folks, you gotta listen. You gotta listen. And remember this, small changes can bring big results. After all, small hinges can open big doors. And here's a story that helps paint a picture of mentoring. A man and a young teenage boy checked into a hotel and were shown their room. The two receptionists noticed the quiet manner of the guests and the pale appearance of the boy. Later, the man and the boy ate dinner in the hotel restaurant. The staff again noticed that the two guests were very quiet and that the boy seemed disinterested in his food. After eating the food, the boy went to his room and the man went to the receptionist and asked to see the manager. The receptionist initially asked, was there any problem with the service or the room and offered to fix things? But the man said, no, that was not the, the sort at all and repeated the request to see the manager. The manager was called and duly appeared and the man asked to speak privately. The manager, realizing he needed privacy, then took him to his office. The man explained that he was spending the night in the hotel room with his 14-year-old son, who was seriously ill, probably terminal. So the boy would be undergoing therapy, which would cause him to lose his hair. They had come to the hotel to have a break together, and also because the boy planned to shave his head that night rather than feel that the illness was beating him father said that he would be shaving his own head too to support his son. He asked that the staff be respectful when the two of them came to breakfast with their shaven heads. The manager fully understood and assured the father that he would inform all staff and that they would behave appropriately. The following morning, the father and the son entered the restaurant for their breakfast. There they saw four male restaurant staff attending to their duties along with the manager. All seemed perfectly normal, but all with shaven heads. Mentoring is a practice not so much in words as it is in attitude and in actions. So what does the Book of Wisdom, the Bible, say about mentoring? Let's look at the Old Testament, Proverbs 27, 17. Iron sharpens iron, and one person sharpens another. Here's a New Testament reference, 2 Timothy 2, verse 2. And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses in trust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. We see in the Old Testament, Jethro, Moses' father-in-law, mentored Moses. Moses mentored Joshua, and Joshua mentored other remaining leaders. And finally, Jesus mentored the 12 apostles. As I reflect upon close to 50 years in the insurance industry and the mentors I've had, one common thread is throughout wisdom and experience. And I believe my mentors gained some of this from using resources available to them, whether that be a text, tax facts, whatever it might be, and the resource of associates available to them. 
You may have guessed it, but one of the resources I would use would be the Financial Markets website. And one of the associates I would be using would be my internal wholesaler at Financial Markets. So let's go to the Financial Markets website, www.fmiagent.com. Now, if you haven't registered, I certainly invite you to do so. Now, being logged in to the website at the top, I'm now going to click on to Agent Tools. And under the Agent Tools, the first area I want to look at under Sales and Marketing now is entitled Consumer Advertising. So I'm going to check on to that and it opens up and on the left hand side I see different categories. The first one being social media. Scrolling down folks I see quite an array of resources available to me from annuities to long-term care to even being stratified down by carrier. All of this in the context of social media. Scrolling down further, I see entitled campaign in a box. Now here's a collection of marketing materials that's available for all types of campaigns with one common theme throughout. A very strong resource. Let's go down. Moving down, I see flyer templates. I can put my contact information on the flyer and then use it as I wish. You know, recently I was listening to and participating in a webinar and the speaker brought up a little food for thought. He asked, how many posts do you see on your LinkedIn and Facebook? Is it more or less than it was a year ago? Next question, do you expect it to be more or less than what it is right now? Then he brought up this question, direct mail. How many direct mail pieces are we getting? If you want to separate yourself from the herd, he suggests you consider direct mail. Maybe one of these flyers, folks. Finally, I scroll down and I see templates for webinars. Yes, if you want to do your own webinar, we have templates that will help you. Along with that, radio ads. Notice there are radio ads right here. Now going back to the top of Agent Tools, I'm going to again look under the Sales and Marketing heading, but go to Calculators and Reference. I'm going to click on that and under the Calculator heading I see General Financial and they are that. General Categories, which you could be using or you could then maybe use with your, your client. And I see there's a vast array of these calculators available to you. Now the other one is entitled advanced marketing calculators. Now it has tabs of different areas such as mortgage loans, retirement, business insurance, personal insurance. You can scroll down and you can do a deep dive. Let's go back to Agent Tools and now I'm going to go to advanced marketing resources. I'm going to click on, for the time that we have left, just the virtual assistant. And notice the client tools and the resources. There is a lead program. Look at that. It's got a referred lead generation type of program, along with fact finders and concept pages that are available under the client tools. And under resources, we have specimen documents that could be given to, you could be given these to accountants and attorneys starting to brand yourself. I'm going to now look at the main menu and click on to the client tools and I'm going to go to the left hand side there and look at the bottom and it says life happens videos and here we have a resource for you of videos that you can use I look at these folks once a week I make a point to motivate myself you could use that for yourself educate your clients I'm going to click onto the middle column entitled having young children and I see a featured video. I believe it's entitled Dream On, Dream On. You can click down and you can see all sorts of other, other videos. This is the video that I'd like to show you right now. Let's see. Oh, I like this. Uh,
previously pointed out, the little areas that we've looked at today in the Financial Markets website, it's just the tip of the iceberg. They're put there to benefit you. So be sure to contact your mentor, your internal wholesaler, and paint the picture for them on what the need is. And I can assure you that they will help you. Remember this, blessed are they who ease the pain of misfortune, for they shall be called insurance agents. And yes, in 2022, folks, GP for you. God's plan for you, it's great. You take care now. Thank you.